and welcome back to my channel data bi sql uh, so today we will continue with the amazon sql interview questions uh, series this is going to be part 17 of the series and you can look at all my uh, other part 16 uh, in a playlist uh, and i'll be putting this video as well as in the playlist and i'll give a link to the playlist in the in the description uh, also, uh, just like other videos, I'll put uh, the the statements, the insert statements, and uh, uh, insert statements and select uh, statements that we cover here in the in, in the description of the video. Uh, right? I mean, so you can you can uh, just copy paste this and the scripts and then and then do the exercise just like I'm doing here. So we'll have the same set of data. Uh, so let's get started with uh, today's video and before that right I mean I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel uh, and like my videos if this content has been has been useful to you uh, so let's get started so today uh, we will be covering uh, uh, the tables which are basically covered in the last uh, uh, last video so if you have uh, looked at my videos number 16 these tables are already covered in that so uh, my recommendation is to look at that video first, uh, right? I mean that 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 also had a like very complex query. So uh, if you could look at that video and then look at this video, that would be good. But uh, if you if you don't want to look at that video uh, and directly want to look at this video, that's also fine uh, because the questions are different, right? So let's get started. So there are two tables here. Uh, one table is a product table, product dim table. Right, so it has the product ID, it has a product name, it has the category of that product, it has the price for that product, right? I mean, uh, and then start date and end date of that product, okay? So there are like 10 products in this table. The second table is the orders item fact table, uh, right? So here uh, for each of this product, we looked at in a product dim, right? Uh, there is an order associated with that, right? Obviously, you know, uh, each of the product will get uh, order through an order ID, right? So a um, uh, couple of products can be a part of same order, right? It's pretty uh, real life example. One order can have multiple products. And if you see the quantity of the product is mentioned uh, over here, right? So the question is uh, list those products which did not have any orders, right? So what do they mean? What do they mean by this question? They mean by this question is these products are there. Which product did not have any orders, right? I mean, so uh, if you see this table, right, I mean, if you see P1, P2, P3, you have the orders till P9. Uh, uh, let's see how many uh, products are there in a, in a product dim table. So you have P9 and P10, right? So P10 is also there, but you do not see it in orders item fact table. So our answer should be P10, right? So just frame it in your mind, right? I mean, just look at the data. Uh, and always, the, if you see the interview questions, right, I mean, uh, the data set will not be like, you know, thousands of rows. Data set will be like 10, 20 rows, you know, not more than that, uh, right? I mean, so it's it's pretty little bit easy to, uh, you know, figure it out that which product should not come and then try and frame your query, right? So this kind of questions are pretty much uh, asked in the data engineers, uh, senior data engineers, senior BIE uh, roles, right? I mean, it's it, typically these kind of questions are qualify for the first round, right? I mean, it's not a loop questions because it is little, it covers the concept, but it's not it's not that much complex. So here in this case, right, we'll be covering the subquery concept, which is also important concept that you need to know, right? So so let's get started. So let's see. So what they're, they're asked is list those products, right? So when they list those products, what will happen? You need to just put a product dim, right? So basically, list product underscore id and product underscore name from product dim where now they are saying which did not have any orders right so that means what you need to do is you need to search for that product in the orders item fact table right product not in right not in this is very important here why because you are trying to search those product where the order was not placed correct so those products which are not part of this particular table right so let's so then what happens is you need to just select again the product id from orders fact table correct right so what 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 this subquery will do uh, this subquery will get all the product ids which is there in a 
okay you don't have a product id in that table or okay i think my spelling is wrong okay so if you see this you got the products right p9 so basically you got all the products that are in the order five pack table so now we need to put right so here the answer we want is p10 right so we basically we don't want this product right because those products are having order associated with that correct so we want p10 that's why we are saying where product id product id not in correct product id okay so i forgot the from clause here okay okay so you have that you have it right i mean p10 okay so p10 uh, is the answer right that's the answer we were looking for okay all right so here the the concept that is covered is not in right and then the sub query so this kind of a question is very common right please you know i would say practice this because this is very very common you know that they are asking you to do a sub query and they are asking you to find a match between two tables right so this is extremely common question and uh, you know uh, it's pretty simple like like you saw once you frame it in your mind once you look at the data it's it's not that that complex but uh, uh, just try and understand uh, what is being asked and then practice it one time okay the next question is list customers who have placed order more than one who have placed more than one order okay so what it is trying to tell you is so this is the customer dimension right uh, so it is it is having all the customer id customer full name right uh, a pretty standard customer dimension then you have order fact table okay so in the order fact table what you have you have a relationship of order and customer right so which customers placed how many orders right so here what they are asking is customer who have placed more than one order right so if you see customer id 1 has placed order 1 is there any more customer id 1 placing the order order it oh yeah so he placed the order more than once right so he should be listed because he has placed more than one order how about 2 and 3 2 and 3 yes how about 4 6 8 10 9 4 6 8 10 9 no. right so our answer should be 1 2 3 right because they have placed more than one order right so again just like a previous question you just need to frame it in your mind look at both the data set and figure out right you know what should be an answer right that makes it easy for you to cover so here what we'll do is so obviously we have to join these two tables right because uh, uh, there is a relationship of customer and order between two tables right so we'll have to join two tables correct so what is being asked so let's say select so first thing uh, as a good practice is just list down the table which give them an alias right right okay just give them an alias so that makes it easy right when you do a selection because when there is a uh, more than two table into picture and where there is common id right customer id is there in both the table so if you don't define the alias then it's going to give you uh, uh, an error that you know from which table you need to put right so better to this is a good practice to have uh when you have joined between two tables just list down the table and then uh, give them an alias name okay so here you have c dot cust underscore id right from okay let's first join this okay so because that's also again very important uh just define the join condition right uh as since we know that this we have to join through this table right i mean this two table so c customer id customers who have placed more than one order right so if you want to know what, what uh, 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 if the order count what you need to do you need to do a count right because he's saying place more than one order so you need to find out how many orders are placed right so what you need to do is you need to do count of and if you saw the order id was in the customer order fact table correct if you see this the order id is in this table so c cust id count of order id right now as you see here when you, the count function comes in right so that means we need to put a group by right and that's what is being asked for right that how many customers have placed more than one order right so uh, 
since you have a count here, right? I mean, uh, you need, it's, it's an aggregate function, right? So it's basically what it is doing is it is basically summing up the count, right? Summing up the total total count of orders, right? So once you have that, uh, you need to have a group by clause, right? So group by and having will come into picture, right? Group by customer ID having. Uh, you can't say where count, right? Because where uh, will not work. Count count will not work with where, right? Because aggregate function. So that's why in order to use uh, the the in order to put the count function in the in the filter condition, you need to use have having, right? So group by and having having count of ORD underscore order underscore ID is greater than one, right? We placed more than one order. See, look at this more than one order. Okay, that means they have placed greater than one order. Okay, so let's just try and run this query. Order underscore fact. Okay, so we did not put a comma here. See, again, it is giving the ambiguous error, right? Group by, right? See, that's why I was saying that you should have, have it defined very well. Okay, so this kind of error don't throw up. Okay, so there we have it, right? I mean, see, customer ID, one, two, three, right? If you want to just refine this, it's even better. Like if you want to just have a order, right? It's always a good practice to, uh, you know, get present the data in a in a very good format as well, right? So in this case, you will be able to see one, two, three, right? Uh, uh, by each customer, you have two two orders, right? If customer one had more than three order, it would have been three, right? So basically, uh, uh, what we learned in this particular query is join between two tables, right? And then use of a group by and having clause, right, to do a filtering, correct? So uh, this is also very useful and this kind of questions right uh, like aggregate function like count sum is being is, is, is being asked repeatedly in the initial rounds right so this is going to be very helpful to you guys as well All right okay so uh, that's it for it today guys uh, I request you again to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you have really enjoyed my content thanks guys